Hello, it's Melissa with Atlas CFO, and today we're talking about break-even point and how to calculate it. Break-even point was one of my favorite things to calculate for my contractors back when I was in public accounting. Uh, you know I'm kind of nerdy, and so I like math, and there are plenty of math calculations in break-even point. Let's get started and talk about what break-even point is. So break-even is the point in which our revenue minus our expenses equals zero net income. And you may think, ah, I don't know that I care about, about that at all, but that's one of the top questions we get asked is, how much revenue do I need to make money, to break even? How much revenue per month, per week, per day? It is a very viable question to know how much revenue do you need in your organization so that you know everything's okay. I like to say, well, it depends. Oh, what a terrible answer, Melissa. You can't say it depends. Well, it does depend. It depends on a lot of things. But if we have just a few pieces of information, we can do a rough estimate. So what information would we need? Well, one of the first things we need is an overhead budget. Now, an overhead budget could be variable, fixed, and discretionary expenses, or it could be just fixed expenses. There's, there's a lot of a lot of play in this one, but we're going to just say an overhead budget. So every expense outside of our direct operations. If you have one of those, that's a good stepping point for break even point. If you'd like more information on budgeting, we have another video in our series just on budget. So you can check that out, see if that helps. The next thing we need is average gross margin. Now average gross margin depends. <laughs> on the type of contractor you are, the location, whether you're doing service-based work or large contracts, so it, it depends. But you have an average gross margin in your company that you're used to. Some people look at, an, at average estimated revenue, some people look at performance revenue, some people go to their income statement and look at gross profit. However you want to do it, what we need is the average percent that you make on the work. In our industry, the average can run between 5% and 35% depending on what type of contract, what type of work, how you organize your expenses. So as long as you know this number, we can move forward. I'm going to make some assumptions so that we can do a break even point calculation together. The assumptions that I'm making is that you have two categories of expense, direct and overhead, and that's it. And our overhead, we're going to assume that we have $1 million of overhead expenses that we need to cover. The next thing that we need was our gross margin, our gross profit. So what I have assumed is that we are at a 20% gross profit. I say gross profit, gross margin, they're all the same. So now we get to do math. Yay, math, my favorite. So our math calculation for break-even sales is overhead divided by our gross margin, gross profit percentage. So for our example, based on our assumptions, it would be a million dollars divided by our 20%, so 0.20, equals our break-even sales. So for our example, we need $5 million in break-even sales. That means we're going to start with $5 million in revenue. By the time we get all the way through it, we're going to have $0 in net income. But that's kind of helpful, right? So now I know I need $5 million, but I don't want to break even for the year. I, I want to do more than that. What about, long list goes off the page. Yeah, it's, it's like the warm up round for the number of questions that you end up with after you do break even. What if I want to make some net income? What if I have investments? What if I want to create a bonus pool? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? What if I change my gross profit? So all of those things are next. So what do you do about that? Well, in our business and with our clients, we use a, a tool that Shane created, which is called his forecast tool. He has spent 20 years building this forecast tool and it takes all of these questions and incorporates it so that you can do scenario planning and make decisions about what to do next. Now, Shane doesn't let me in the forecast model because I messed it up one time. And it's the truth. It's the truth. I own it. 
Uh, but I did talk to him and he said that if you would like a complimentary meeting to talk about the forecast, if you've done your break even and you want to know how you can change the financial results of your business, he would offer a complimentary meeting. And you can just email at hello at alicecfo.com and let us know if that's something that would be a good fit for you. Another option for you is we have our Atlas CFO All Access. Now this is our membership site that has all of our information that we've accumulated over a good number of years. You know, I color, it's gray. Uh, it, of, of resources, downloads, templates, videos of how to do things for construction contractors. And that is at our website, atlascfo.com, and you can just find this graphic and you can learn more about it. In that series, in our class, we have a larger break-even analysis. So I've given you a very, very simple one, but we have a larger one in that uh, membership site that you can download and use in your own shop. I love spending time with you. It's really fun for me, and I appreciate that you've given me this time. I hope you do your own break-even calculation and learn more about your business and what it takes to make money. Talk to you later. Bye.